What's up everybody, Oxyblock here and today I wanted to welcome back to another tutorial video. Today is gonna be a little bit of a follow-up to my last video on how to install the replay mod. The reason why is because I'm getting a few questions uh, regarding how is it possible that some YouTubers are recording uh, videos with shader packs and with Optifine while using the replay mod. Um, you, as you may know, uh, the replay mod and Optifine are actually not compatible. So this uh, has risen some questions. Well, there is a way to do it. You just need to download an extra mod. Uh, it's really simple and I'm gonna be explaining how you can get both uh, the replayer viewer and the replay mod along with um, Optifine on your system. So let's jump right into it. There's gonna be a total of two downloads that we're gonna need in order to make this uh, happen. And uh, what we're gonna use is obviously Optifine. We're gonna download the 1.16.1. But also what we're going to do is actually download OptiFabric from uh, Forge. Uh, OptiFabric acts as a bridge between OptiFine and the Ripley mod by allowing OptiFine be run uh, within the Fabric mod. Uh, this is extremely useful as without this, we would not be actually able to record uh, um, videos with the Ripley mod uh, within Fabric. So what we're going to do is just scroll down to the bottom and we're going to hit this download button over here where it says uh, 1.16. We're just gonna hit download. We're gonna wait uh, those uh, five seconds that it's gonna uh, make you wait. Don't click anything. And then once it's over, uh, you're just gonna hit uh, keep that file. If you do not have the Optifine, it's pretty simple. You just gonna hit um, the mirror and then download Optifine over here. And it's gonna download as well. We're gonna keep it as well. It's gonna take you always to this uh, Roblox uh, advertisement. But uh, after this, what we're gonna do is just move it over to the desktop. As per usual, we're just going to go over to the search bar and type uh, downloads and we're going to open the downloads folder. We're going to see that the both Optifine and Optifabric are going to be over here. We can move into the desktop, but uh, there's actually just one step that we need to do and it's going to be extremely simple. We're just going to type uh, percentage app data percentage to open the folder in where we're going to have all the data packs and all the data for Minecraft. We're going to go over to the mod section. We're going to grab both of these. And we're just going to drag them and release them within the mods folder. And that is all you need to do. Next time you open Minecraft, you're going to open the, load, the launcher. You're going to make sure that you're using that fabric loader that we explained how to install in the last uh, video. And we are going to be able to launch Minecraft within fabric, but at the same time have Optifine on it. As you can see in the launcher, we actually are in Minecraft 1.16.1. We're actually having a fabric mod as well as the Optifine mod. So we have the replay viewer, but if we actually were to launch a game, we can see that we actually are running Optifine. We have fog turned off. We have the zoom key. We have the recording button, but we actually can even um, activate shaders. If we wanted to record with shaders, different shader packs, um, really a lot of possibilities, uh, really cool, really simple to do actually. So, I mean, how cool does the nether look with, with a shader pack that just makes lava look crazy and dark spots actually look dark. It's a, I, I love it. I, I, specific, I personally love uh, playing with uh, mods like this. But that's going to be all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope that you found this useful and that you can actually make uh, your recordings now with uh, some shader packs if it's what you guys want to do. Uh, but if you enjoyed and you found this useful, uh, make sure uh, to leave a like. If you really liked it, uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see more of this content. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Thank you so much as always. Bye-bye.